Welcome to part two of our laser cut gear tutorial. In part one, linked in the comments below, we used a really great online gear generator to create some properly sized meshed gear shapes. Take a look at that if you need a refresher. We saved them as SVG files and now we're going to use Inkscape to open them up and get them ready for the laser cutter. So here we go. Let's open one up. There's our gear generator lurking back there. We'll get this resized. Now you'll be applying these steps to all of your gear files. I'm just going to work on one of them here for you. So first thing we want to do, we need to clean up the image and get the cut line ready for laser cutting. So we'll grab our left hand uh, selection tool from the left hand toolbar and we're just going to delete graphics. I'm just clicking, selecting, deleting. Let's get rid of these rings. We'll even get rid of the red dot. All right. Once again, click on your gear. And if you don't already have it open, go to object, fill and stroke. And we've got the fill and stroke menu on the right hand side. We'll start with fill. And I would like to remove the fill entirely. So click on the X, get rid of the fill. Next, move over to Stroke Paint, and I'd like this to just be black. So the easiest way to do this is to change these three values to zero. You can also use the sliders on each color and drag the slider all the way to the left. Last stop in this part of our work is to go to Stroke Style, and this is really important, friends. Change the unit of measurement from pixels to inches if necessary and then change the stroke style this is the thickness of that line to 0 0.001 inches what this is doing is this is going to set up the proper cut line for the laser cutter and we've made our change there again I can't emphasize this enough it will not cut if this line is not set to one thousandths of an inch 0 0.00 one okay so we've got that done now we need to put a center hole into our gear so we have a place for it to rest on the dowel or axis or axle excuse me so I've grabbed the circle tool from the left hand toolbar I'm gonna move over it doesn't have to be dead center because we're going to fix that hold down the control key on your keyboard click and drag and we have a circle, a perfect circle. Left hand toolbar again, friends. Grab that selection tool. Click on your center circle if it's not already selected. And let's go back to the top menu bar. This time we're going to change our units of measurement from PX, which is pixels, to millimeters. Now for this particular project, I've already got the measurement for you. But remember, your mileage may vary, so when in doubt, check measurements. For, but for this project, we're going to change width and height to 8.5 millimeters. And when you're done, press Enter. So now we have our perfectly sized circle inside of our gear. The last thing we need to do is to just center that circle in the dead center of our gear. And the way we're gonna do that, grab that left hand arrow selection tool again, click and drag to circle both your gear and the center hole. Select, and we're going to go to object, and all the way down almost to the bottom and choose align and distribute. There's a new menu on the right side. Take a look, friends. Let's make sure that we have this set relative to biggest object. That's our gear shape. We're going to center on the vertical axis and we're going to center on the horizontal axis. So now we have centered up that circle. All right, let's close the align and distribute menu. Now, because this is so important, I want to triple check our measurements. So I'm going to click on the outside edge of 
our gear and go to the fill and stroke menu click on the stroke style tab switch to inches just checking one more time make sure that is set to one thousandths of an inch and let's click on the center hole make sure that once again that is set to one thousandths of an inch now if you are happy with the look of your gear you don't want to add any graphics to it then you're almost done if you want to add graphics then you should check out my other tutorial about adding images or text to your gear but I'm assuming you're happy and we're gonna move on almost done friends click on the outside edge of the gear go to file document properties and what I want you to do is to add a little bit of a margin, a little bit of a buffer around the gear. It doesn't have to be much, but it gives the laser cutter room to work. So one more time, friends, under custom size, we're going to change that units of measurement from pixels to inches. Click on the plus sign that says resize page to content. And I'd like you to make all four of these margins top, left, right and bottom to 0.1 one tenth of an inch and you'll see what that does in a moment click the big button labeled resize page to drawing or selection and you'll notice that in our drawing I'll close up this document properties window in our design there's just a little bit of a buffer this gives the laser room to work all right so let's go to file Let's go to Save As, and what I'd like you to do is to put your name in front of that file, and make sure that you're saving it as an Inkscape SVG. That way, if you need to come back and edit it, you can. Again, make sure you save it as an Inkscape SVG, and click Save. All right, now the file that I need to do the laser cutting is going to be file save as change the file type from Inkscape to portable document format that's PDF and what I'd like you to do up here if you've been given a choice of materials in this case wood or acrylic type in the name of the material that you want me to use to cut this and click save one more pop-up window just agree with this click OK and you've now saved this as a PDF I'll give you instructions as to what email to use so that you can send your files to me so that I can do the laser cutting watch this video as much as you want don't forget part one about the online gear generator don't forget part three about adding graphics, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.